Hey, what's up guys? One Stroke here, and today we do not have a shit post. Instead, I will get right to the point of the video. In Northern Lurie of Lakes, Ray Lucaria Crystal Tunnel has stones 3, 2, and 1. As an aside, if you want to get all the way to plus 10, then don't level up past plus 3, because getting to the somber ancient dragon smithing stone requires you to invade people, and you won't be able to get many invasions if you are a low level character and high level with your weapon. The secret area of Mount Gelmir has stones 6, 5, and 7. There's a 4 in Northern Kaelid, and an 8 at the beginning of Dragon Barrow. There's a 9 in the Seal Sanctum, west of the bridge. And finally, the somber ancient dragon smithing stone is in Mog's Palace, right before his boss fight. For those of you who don't know how to get to some of these areas, I will explain how to with timestamps in the description and those fancy video segments. In order to get to Lurie of Lakes without killing Margit and Godric, you need to head north from the Stormhill Shack site of Grace, and veer off the road, going through the archways of this bridge and jumping down the broken part of the bridge to a path around the mountain. In order to get to Mount Gelmir's secret area, you need to get the Glintstone Key and progress through the academy normally, until you reach the Spinny Elevator, where you wait for it to reach the top and run over to the other side, and wait until it drops you onto the bottom, where one of these enemies will attack you. Your goal is to die by the grab attack that they have in order to get teleported to Mount Gelmir's Volcano Manor. From here, you want to run across the lava and drop. Do not jump down to the lava. The Somberstone 6 is at the base of the open area, on the top of the roof. Somberstone 5 is up in the cage elevator past Lizard Boy, hanging from a ledge. And finally, the Somberstone 7 is left of the boss room, where you need to activate and do some parkour on this bridge in order to grab it. area from any location. You have to do it while sitting at a grace, so you need to run back or die to get warped back to the starting area. We need to climb this ladder and make a pretty easy jump to this grace where you can then warp. In order to get to the Bestial Sanctum and get the Somberstone 9, you need to head to the third church of Mariko, which is just north of where you pick up the map. Behind the church is a teleporter that takes you to Geralt's Dragon Barrow. Where you can touch the grace to the south and kill the beetle that is just west of the grace. Who came? Somberstone 9. Unfortunately, getting to the final stone requires you to complete this kinky fucker's questline, which requires you to kill Godric the Grafted and go talk to him back at the first steps site of grace, where he will tell you to go talk to the two fingers in the round table hold. Upon returning to him, he will be gone and will have left a message telling you to meet him at Rose Church. Once arriving, he will gift you some festering bloody fingers, wherein you need to use three of them to invade. You don't need to win the invasion, you just need to complete it, whether that be by the host DCing. You dying, or you killing the host. After your return, he will give you a rag that you must stain with gamer girl blood. The closest one is in the Church of Inhibition, to the east of the Lift of Dectus. Past the Frenzied Flame Village, sitting on a chair by the Grace, will be a body that you can interact with to wet it. Accepting your offer, you will enter a temporary BDSM relationship with him, where he gives you your finger and a medal that he tells you not to use until later. We then use the medal and run through the Mogwin Dynasty Mausoleum, ignoring all the Bleedy Boys in darkness until we reach the light at the end of the tunnel and the Grace. Just beyond said grace is a group of Tomto heads guarding the final stone. Well gamers, that was all of the stones. But little did you fuckers know, this was actually a sequel to my last video. Mm. In order to get the best weapon in the game, Vare's Bouquet, you need to head back to the last side of grace and accept Vare's red summon side and slap his ween very hard in order to steal his perfect weapon. The greatest weapon in Actually, Vare's Bouquet, with staggering damage and staggering bleed buildup at 60 Arcane, you can one-shot most bosses.